morning guys Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School back with a, another video in the 21st Century Long Hunter series um, Ryan Eves is still out here with me in the yurt and we are going to show you a couple small items we've picked up in the last few days um, one that we showed in the last stock and trade video another one we picked up this weekend and we are going to cast our own round ball today to make a buck and ball load for the 12 gauge for the 21st Century Long Hunter series so stay with us we're going to show you how that process works show you the tools that we're going to use and shoot a load for you when we're done. Hang tight. Okay, so what we're going to use today to make these 32 caliber round balls, we're only going to use a couple of tools. We're going to use this 32 caliber round ball mold that we picked up in the last stock and trade video. And we've also got this folding lead ladle, and the way this thing works is you can fold this thing up, put it in your pack, just like this. It's got to cool down real good. It's still hot, but it folds up pretty simple like this so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your pack and then when you're ready to use it you just unfold it I need to grease it up a little bit looks like and it straightens out like that and you can put it on the end of a stick or hold it with your multi-tool or whatever the case may be and that becomes your lead ladle to put your lead in pretty simple item to carry doesn't weigh very much doesn't take up a whole lot of room in your pack and then any lead that you come across whether that's wheel weights battery whatever the case may be that you can find lead material you can melt that down and then make these round ball that you can use for slingshot ammunition buckshot loads in your 12 gauge um, you could cut these while they're still warm and use them for split shot sinkers if you wanted to so there's lots of things that you can use that lead for a couple small tools to carry now you could modify this bullet mold a little bit you know you, it's basically a pair of pliers you could take one end of this and bang it out flat and file it down to make a screwdriver you could take the other end and you could point it off to use it for an awl for punching holes in leather. And then again, you know, you could pick things up with this if you needed to or grip them because it is like a pair of pliers. And you've also got a sprue cutter here that you could use for a wire stripper if you needed to as well. So you've got a lot of multi-purpose you can use in those two tools. They don't take up a lot of room and you can make a lot of round ball real quick. Ryan, you know, molded 12 or 15 round balls in about less than five minutes over there. Okay, so we've got some round ball here that's actually bigger than we need. It's actually like 10 gauge round ball. It was bought by mistake. So we're going to take lead like this and we're going to recycle it. We're going to use it for making buckshot for our 12 gauge. We've got a lead ladle here. That's just a folding lead ladle like they used in the 18th century. We're going to put that ball, round ball in and we're going to melt that down. We'll just stick that in our in our fire pit in here. Just dropped it out of the thing there. I'll get that back up in there in the fire and get that ladle nice and hot. I'm sure you guys can see that. We got our stove going good. We can put the bellows to it a little bit to get it real nice and hot. got a 32 caliber round ball mold here so basically what we're going to do is we're going to turn this lead into buckshot when we're done we're going to have shot and that's 32 caliber round ball like this that we can load up in a 12 gauge in either a brass shotgun shell or in one of our used high brass 12 gauge shells for buckshot you could do this with wheel weights you could do it with car battery lead any kind of lead that you had available to you you could use this for and basically this is also good slingshot ammunition so it's multi-purpose at the same time and I've got this 32 caliber round ball mold that I picked up last week I showed you guys in a stock and trade video and this last weekend I picked up this lead ladle which you can see that leads melting in there now I picked this lead ladle up and both of them will fit in a pack very easily and all we have to do is pour the lead down inside the mold here the sprue cleaned out of it now anything that we spill we can just pick up you see I did that right over the top of this pan so we can just pick up anything that we spill any sprue that we have that we cut off of this in the end we can reuse and we'll just put it right back in the pan so I'll just let this you can see that piece of slag I just dropped just splattered out and dried and I can just throw that right back inside the mold I got a piece of wood in there I'm gonna get out real quick maybe that right back in the mold and get that melted down 
we're getting about three 32 caliber balls to each one of these big 10 gauge balls. But this is what it looks like when it's done in there. I'm going to zoom out of this for a minute real quick so you can kind of see what's going on here. And then I'm just going to take that ball and it's going to be warm so you're going to have to be careful doing this. You're going to have to let it cool down for a minute. And that's what it looks like when it comes out of the mold. And this tool has a cutter on the bottom of it called a sprue cutter. And you just put that inside there and you just cut that sprue off. And when you're done, you have a nice neat 32 caliber ball. And you can turn that, turn the rest of that off there as well. And I'll use this piece that I trimmed off. I'll put that back in the ladle and melt it down to make another round ball. And you can trim that up pretty close. It doesn't have to be completely symmetrical. Just needs to be close. Put that down in our tray. Get this in our lead ladle. Melt it down so we can make another one. And we're using our wood stove for this, but you could do this over a campfire very easily. And when we're done, Ryan's going to load up a load of buckshot in a 12 gauge shell, take it out and shoot it for you. So this is a very easy way to carry just a couple small tools to be able to be self-reliant in the fact that you can make your own ammunition when you need to. Okay, so Ryan's taking four of his round ball that he made, or three, three or four? Three. Three. Three of his round ball that he made and stuffed them into a two and three quarter inch 12 gauge shell with the remainder of the room inside that shell filled up with BB shot to make a buck and ball load. Um, he's going to, he loaded 90 grains of Pyrodex black powder equivalent in here and he's going to shoot it at about 12 steps at this gallon milk jug and we'll see what it looks like. That was nasty. Yeah. That was nasty. Let's walk up here and see what we got here. We'll zoom out as we walk up. Now that, my friend, is an ugly hole. That put a whoop into that thing. Man, man, look at that. Yeah.